from the Sunshine State, Florida, the home of Dutyville, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here he is, Buffalo Bob Smith. and dads and kids, what time is it? Okay, then, let's go! It's Howdy Doody time. It's Howdy Doody time. Howdy Doody time. Well, you know, for a change, everything is very quiet and peaceful in, here in Dutyville. So what we thought we'd do today is maybe uh, play some games, we'll uh, sing some songs, and if any of you would like to ask any questions, we thought we might have some... Uh, oh, hey, here's our buddy Howdy Doody. Hiya, Howdy. <laughs> well, how you doing, Howdy, old boy? Oh, oh well, hi, Peter. Yeah. Oh, uh, Buffalo Mob, yeah. look, if, if we don't get going soon, we're going to be late. Yeah, I... Howdy, wait, 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 late, late, late for what? Oh, gosh, what? Buffalo Bob, didn't you read the notice? No, I didn't see any notice. Hey, I... Buffalo Bob. Oh, hiya, Happy. You know something, it's almost time, so why don't we all walk there together? Well, I don't understand. Walk where? Where? Didn't you read the notice? Notice? I didn't see any notice. Well, Hi, we Corey. better get going, you know, because you know how he is when we're late. We better get there. Well, I, look, I don't understand. Will somebody please tell me where are we supposed to be going? Didn't you read the notice? No. What notice? He didn't notice the notice. <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? Come here. What is it? Come here. What is it? Notice. Notice that. Oh, yeah. Emergency staff meeting. Everyone report to the producer's office immediately. Nicholson Muir, producer. That's it. Well, now that's got to be something very important. What's the meeting all about? Having the slightest idea. You don't know, huh? Having the slightest. Now, you see, you've got note paper. Well, I've got note paper. I better get some note paper, too, huh? Yeah, you better. Well, isn't that interesting? Listen. In other words, you've all got to be, yeah? We'll see you there, okay? You get your note paper. Come on, Happy. You and okay, all, all right. Emergency staff meeting. Oh, here's Clarabelle. Hi, Clarabelle. <laughs> Hi, look, uh, Clarabelle. Clarabelle, look. There's a very important meeting going on. And where are you going with the blackboard? I say, where are you going with the blackboard? We've got to get to a very important... Where are you going? P O P O P O Post Office. You're gonna take the blackboard to the post office? No. Well, are you? Or not, are you gonna tell me, or aren't you gonna tell me where you're gonna take it? N O. No. No, you're not going to tell me where you're going to take it, huh? Well, yes, you are gonna. Well, now make up your mind. Are you telling me, or are you not telling me where you're going to take it? You're not. Oh, look. Whatever you. Forget the whole thing, will you please, Clarabelle? We've got to report immediately to Nicholson's office. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, N O O Nicholson's office. Oh, I see. Oh, and P O means the producer's office. I got it. You've got to take the blackboard to the producer's office and the Nicholson's office. Is that it? I... Oh, all right. Oh, all right. I'll see you over there, Clarabelle. Well, kids. Now, if Nicholson Muir needs a blackboard, this must be a really important meeting. Wonder what it's all about. Well, we'll find out in a few moments. Welcome, welcome. 
I'm sure you're all wondering why I've called this meeting. Yeah. <laughs> what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the big mystery? Let's go. What is it? The time has come for me to tell you the big secret. We're expecting a very distinguished visitor here in Dutyville. A visitor? Oh, hey, oh boy, a distinguished visitor. Yeah. yeah. Um, can we guess? Hey, right. oh, yes, yes. Is it the governor that's coming here? He's oh, distinguished. The governor? Oh, no, no, no. Someone much more important. More important mm -hmm. than the governor? Oh, well, yes. Then it must be. Hey, not really. Not, not the president of the United States. Oh, huh? no. Even more important. More, more? important than No, oh, let's stop playing games, Nicholson. I mean, aside from myself. Who could be more important than the President of the United States? Yeah, what's the name of this most important person that's coming here? Yeah. Huh? Prunella Muir. Prunella Muir? Prunella Muir? What? What? What's a Prunella Muir? Yeah. She's my Aunt Puny, and she's coming here for a visit. Oh, now, look, Nicholson, that's all very nice, and we'll be nice to her, and we'll be happy to meet her. But how in the world can you possibly say my Aunt Pruny is more important than the President of the United States. It's easy. My Aunt Pruny is more important than the President of the United States. See how easy it is? Oh. He said it. Dang busted, Nicholas. You mean to tell me you call this here emergency meeting just to tell us that your aunt is coming here to visit? <laughs> Prunella Muir is a member of high society. And I might add, she is extremely wealthy. Wealthy? Oh, I wait, 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 but now that's my kind of person. Yeah, yeah, we figured that. Tell me, what's, uh, what's all that stuff on the blackboard there, Nicholson? What oh, yes, that? this, this. Now, when Aunt Pruny comes, uh, we're going to welcome her with a nice little tea party here in the green room. Oh. Uh, yes, and this will be the seating arrangement. Oh. Yes, now where you see your initials, that is where you will sit. You sit on the initials? Yes. Now then, oh. we will bring Aunt Pruny through uh, door A. That's right here. Door A, yes. better write door that down. A. Door A, Aunt Pruny. Make, Pruny make notes, make notes. Yes. Now, after the introductions, uh, Pletcher the sketcher will wheel the tea cart in through uh, door B. That's right here. T through, T through B. Make through notes, B. make Good. notes. Yes. Like a geometry lesson, isn't it? <laughs> T through yes, B equals right. A. And all the initials, all you right. know what to do there. Now look, would you do me a favor, Nicholson? Tell me, why in the world are we making such a big deal out of a dumb little tea party? Yeah. When I was at Military Academy, ta-ta-ta-ta, Oh. This is the way we planned important missions, and I'm determined to make a good impression on my Aunt Pruny. Good. As long as you're so determined, you make a good impression on Aunt Pruny. As producer of this show, I insist that all of you be on your best behavior. Yes, and that includes the pistachios out there, too. The peanuts, yes, you mean. Yes, we must all uh, be very polite, well-groomed, watch your manners, and... No fooling around. No horseplay. Oh, of course <laughs> we're going to be polite and senior. We'd better. Anyone who gets out of line had better look for another job. Oh, Meeting adjourned. Wow. Oh, what an emergency <laughs> meeting that was, Courtney. I'll tell you something. That's all we need around here is some highfalutin, rootin, tootin, tooty, highfalutin woman looking down her nose there every time we turn around and make a fox pass. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Cobb, it's faux pas. Yeah, that too. Yeah, well, I got our notes here. Oh, boy, with Aunt Pruny here, I guess the next few days are going to be a real drag. Oh, hi, Dilly Dilly. Hi. Uh, what you doing with the broom? Well, we're expecting a very important visitor, Pop. Oh, so you're cleaning up the dirty old studio, huh? Oh, no, it's the studio studio. Huh. Uh, who's coming, Dilly? Aunt Pruny. Pruny? Boy, that name sounds goony. <laughs> you better not let Mr. Muir hear you say that. It's his favorite aunt. Oh, I have a favorite aunt. I keep it in a little jar, you know. Oh, that, it, not that kind, Flop. No? She's the other kind of aunt. Well, you I know, can... the kind who's the sister of your mother or father. Well, she must really be goony. I mean, can't she make up her mind whose sister she is? Well, never mind that, Flop. Now, when she gets here, you better watch your P's and Q's. Okay, Dill. I'll watch it. Uh-uh. Where's my P's and Q's? 
Boy, I forgot where I put them. <laughs> well, I, I better hurry up and find where I put my P's and Q's and watch that while you yeah, okay, Bob, you go look for your P's and Q's. Meantime, come on, Corny. Happy, we'll clean the studio. Oh, uh, I wonder how many of you mom peanuts, when you're doing a little work around the house, did you ever sing while you're doing work? Did you ever do that? Well, look, we have a little song that we sing here. It's called the La La Song, and we'd like to help you la with us. Now, come on. La, 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 la. Now, keep it going. That's good. La, la, la. When there's work to be done, you will find that it's fun if you la are happy to la la la. Oh, you worries and care, la la la, float away on the air, la la la, like a little toy balloon, la la la. Oh, la when you're working, la something gay. Working along, la la la, and along your song, la la la, you'll find that on the job you'll never shirk if you just love me too while you work, la 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 I guess all you peanuts can realize now that this was Nicholson Muir's idea. I mean, cleaning up the Dudio studio for his Aunt Prunella. Now, I'm awfully sorry that we're so busy right now, but we should be finished with this job by the time you come back. So we'll, we'll see you then. Okay, now, come on, Corny. Clara Bell. Now, I want you pickled herrings to Peanut. pay attention to me when my Aunt Prunella arrives. I want you to make a very good impression on her. She thinks my job as producer of the Howdy Doody show is a very important one, but she won't if you act like a bunch of uh, parsnips and ragamuffins. <gasps> Mr. Muir! They know how to behave. Oh, certainly, Nicholson. The peanuts never act like ragamuffins. Whatever kind of muffins those are. Muffle of up. Happy Harmony. I'm the producer of this show. Yes, and I'm sure these dill pickles won't mind yeah. if I give them a few reminders about politeness and good manners. Will you, potato pancakes? <laughs> no. You see? All right. Now, about your appearance. Ah, uh, oh, yes. Over here. Everyone, uh, fix your hair. Come, come. Smooth it out. That's it. Oh, marvelous, marvelous. Now, uh, uh, see if your shoelaces are tied. Shoelace searching time. <laughs> Everybody got everything tied? Now, how about your buttons? All your buttons buttoned? Yes? Uh. Ah, very good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> now, when I introduce my Aunt Pruny to you, I want you to say, how do you do, Aunt Pruny? Now, let's all try it. Ready? Go. How do you do, Aunt Pruny? <laughs> Not good, but it'll have to do. Uh, and remember, now no squirming, no fidgeting. Everyone sit up perfectly straight. Come now, everybody. Perfectly straight. That, you too, Dad. You, Dad, peanut over there, up straight. Oh, and, and Mom, Mom, peanut. You too, up, up, up. That's it. Now, good. Just stay that way until Aunt Pruny arrives. Ciao. <laughs> Oh, Peanuts, he's gone now. You can relax. Hey, Buffalo Blop, and the Buffalo Blip. Oh, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, Bob. Hey, look, Hi, Bob. look who's here, Blop, at the Saucy Flyer. Hi, hey. old. No. I am not a Saucy Flyer. I am a flying saucer. That's right. You sent for me, Buffalo Bob. Yes, I did, O.O. Oh, oh. Now, look, uh, Mr. Muir's Aunt Prunella is coming here for a visit. And he wants us to prepare a, a tea party for her. 
Now, do you have any information on, on uh, some way to serve a, a very classy lady? Huh? Do I ever? You might learn something from the experience of these two. Just watch. Okay. Out of orbit. I, I just hope that sort of thing doesn't happen to us when we serve tea to Aunt Fernella. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boy, that was a disaster stroke. Yeah. Wow. Thanks anyway, out of order. No, Flub, it is not out of order. It's out of order. You're welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a date with a terrific-looking teapot on Mars. Oh. <laughs> Adios. Amigo. Okay, so long, Otto Orbit. Buffalo Bob. Mr. Cobb. Clarabelle. Hey, that's Nicholson Muir, paging us in the control room. Report to me at once in the prop room. This is top priority. Super duper important. Top priority? Hmm. Well, we'll find out what's so super duper important right after this, right? Okay. Now, you will come with me to the airport yep. to meet Aunt Trunella's plane, and we're going to take this with us. Oh, this is the red carpet that we use to roll out for the celebrities. Absolutely. Right. Now, when uh -huh. Aunt Trini steps off the plane, you yeah. fellas will roll this out to greet her. Now, uh, take it to the studio, oh, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, Wait, pick up your end there, Carabelle, and I'll Wait pick up... Oh, pick holy smokerinos! What do you got in there, no, lead? too heavy to lift, Nichols. Oh, lift, I huh? guess I'll have to help you. All right, then, right. now let's count to three. All right. One... Two, Pretty heavy, though. Three. Here we go. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Darn, that is heavy. Yeah. It's too heavy. Oh, boy, I hope oh, it didn't hurt the carpet. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, Nicole, sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, heavy. We'll get it to the studio. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. There's got to be a better way. Yeah. Oh, there's got to be. We can't ever get it there that way. No. Well, tell you what, let's put it on the dolly and take it to the studio that what way. Dolly? Uh, well, this is the dolly, Corny. Oh, you call that a dolly? Yeah, what'd you call I it? I just call it a totem. A no, 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 no. It's a dolly. Now, here. Wait, maybe if we roll it up. That's all you got to do. Now, careful, it's that's heavy. That's, boy, that's a heavy... Oh, God. Oh. Wait a minute. Now, back it up a little. What? That's there it. There we are. I got your... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. You, can you I get it, Corny? I, I got a better idea. Wait How? Uh, what? Stand back. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, no, take it to this way. Sure. Gallery. Okay, all right. That's the way. <laughs> hey, Crackle What's going on over there? Oh, uh, well, they're practicing rolling out the carpet, Mr. Bluster. <laughs> practicing what? Well, you see, when they get to the airport, they're going to give Aunt Prunella the red carpet treatment. Oh, boy, oh, boy, that Mr. Muir, he's sure making a big deal over her. Well, he should. I mean... After all, she's rich, what do you and, have and, and she comes from a fine family. Yeah, I am. and she's rich, <laughs> and and she's probably well educated, and she's rich, yeah, <laughs> and she's undoubtedly charming, and 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 and, 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 and 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 I know, I know, she's rich. Well, so what's wrong? Come back here. What's wrong with me? Why well, give every penny I have to be rich? Besides, I'm sure she's a lovely woman. <laughs> Oh, I'm simply a loony About dear little sweetie and fruity I'll bet she's a cutie and a honey Cause she's got lots of money She's a honey gonna charm her And I'm gonna praise her And tell her she's as sweet as any honey can be And maybe she will give some of that sweet delicious money To me Oh, yeah. All right, 
right, Nicholson, we got this thing here. Now, what do we do with it? Well, when she steps out of the plane and starts down the steps. Yeah, but wait a minute. Now, yeah. Nicholson, look, we've never seen your Aunt Prunella. That's right. Oh. How will we know which person is Aunt Prunella? Very good point, Buffalo Bob. Yes. yes. Oh, Mr. Cobb, I'll yeah. give the signal. Yeah. Now, when she appears in the doorway of the plane, yeah. I'll yell, Aunt Prunella, and you start rolling the carpet toward the ramp. We get you, Nicholson. Our cue is... When you yell, Aunt Prunella, that we is right. practice Aunt it. Prunella, okay. Now, let's okay. practice. You all ready now? Uh, yeah. Now, let's see. Let's go. Now. Let's Aunt see Prunella here. will yeah. be your cue to let it go. Aunt okay. Prunella! That's it, clear, but let it go! No! I'm terribly sorry, Aunt Prunella. Oh, heavens. I'm awfully sorry. This oh, my word. Oh, oh. Your my plane was... arrived oh, early. Uh. There was no one to meet me on this beautiful floor today, so I took a taxi. Oh, I see. A fine <laughs> welcome knocking me over with a carpet. Well, 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 well it, it wasn't my fault, dear auntie. No, it, these two gloops here. Oh, what are well, 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 you nitwits? Well, take the carpet away. Huh? Take, pull it away. Oh, you... <laughs> Show do something, oh dear. Oh, I hope my nephew Binky isn't watching. Okay. Um, well, thank you. Aunt Brunel is here, oh, and boy, did we ever get this off to a bad start. How we're gonna get out of this, I don't know, so please be with us for our next show, and, and, and keep your fingers crossed for us, Penis, because we're in, in big trouble. Brunel.